Hello everyone, Valentine Ose here for Graded Pitch or Playground. If this is your first time on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified when new video is uploaded. I want to appreciate every one of you who have been watching our tutorials from Edian, from Russia. I say a big thank you. And for every one of you who are watching, if you are yet to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified when new video is uploaded. And for every one of you who have asked several questions, I am giving you the assurance that uh, if we have a reasonable number of persons who have asked a particular question, I will create a tutorial to explain in details what you want to know about me. Why I try as much as possible to always respond to questions that are being asked on the comment session, which I believe all of you who have asked that question must have read or seen in your uh, questions. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to save styles in legacy title. How to save styles? Well, by styles, I mean uh, when you design a title and you want to use that same colors and properties that you've created with that title, which is the style, how you save it inside of a legacy title. So to get that done, all you do is come to file new the legacy title. So to you have that, and this is how it is. If you've not seen the tutorial on how to use the properties of legacy title, hit the information icon to see the tutorial on how to use the properties of legacy title where I detailed and explained various areas and functions that the legacy title has. So these are this is the style area of your legacy title. Styles are just uh, text that you created in any form, the color, the design, the shadow that you've applied. Then you want to save it under this legacy title styles. This is where such thing is being created. So whatever the uh, properties that you add to such a title, you can save it here. You can easily uh, apply it by just clicking on that style. So let's create a, a style. Let me type tutorial. So this is it. We've created this tutorial as a test that we want to apply properties to and things that we want to save inside the style. So let's change the font to ethnocentric. This is it. Ethnocentric is an external uh, font that I downloaded. So this is it. You see how it is. Now we want to apply certain properties. If you want to apply, make it italic, I can just click on it, it becomes italic. So I will leave it on that regular. So the font size is okay. Then let me come down to, let's say I want to add a linear gradient. Then I click on this area to search off on a particular color. Let's say this yellow, because at least it's bright. It will come out on the background. So let me pull this down. Let me also change the angle of that title. Let's just have it as a touch. Then I can reduce the opacity. Then let me repeat the color to have something like this. So we've created that. Then another thing is let's add outer stroke by clicking on this then if i increase the edge you cannot really see anything that is happening here because the preview that we created which is for the timeline there is no image so you may not be seeing the function of what is happening we can just close this so that you see what we are doing so this is the outer stroke this is the black stroke you can we can decide to change the color of the outer stroke to let's say green and if we take it to green you see is washed out so we can now 
crush it down by reducing that opacity. Trying to make a simple but yet nice graphics design. Let's leave it on 26. So you come down to what is maybe the shadow. Let's remove the shadow angle to take it to zero. Then let's take the distance to zero. Then let's take the spread to zero. And we can make this just say five. Then let's make the size two. Then the opacity, we can pop it up to 100. So you see, we have a nice uh, title here. So when you when you are done with this, then you come to your style and you now say new style. When you click on this, this three bar under the style, you click on new style. It will take the original name of the test font, which is ethnocentric. So you can decide to now name it mine font. And you click on OK. It will now save here under the style. So we've created the style, we've saved it here. It's taking that property. We have created and we've closed that. So let's now say we want next time we want to create a new title legacy title I'll click on OK so this is it we now have a default uh, page so we type let's say morning select it and bring it down bring it out so this is it now we want to apply that style that we created all you do is come down to your style and search for that which you've created so the moment you apply boom it takes that function so you can now make your adjustment maybe if the font you can make your adjustment on the font property by reducing it so this is how to save styles and reuse them for subsequent um, tests that you have created in legacy title if you like the tutorial give it a thumb up and share with your friend and encourage them to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hitting on the notification bell to get notified when new video is uploaded once again i am valentine ose see you in our next tutorial